here everything has been taken off uh, don't you hate when people put those loud things on their car it's like they be driving the car and they go boom like a firework or a gunshot what is that called and what is the point of it i don't i don't get it it don't make no sense to me um Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel today is actually a weekend it's the weekend um now i typically don't vlog on the weekends because i typically don't work on the weekends but with us being at the top of the year i'm just like drowning 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 in work so I decided that today I was going to go ahead and get some work out of the way, get some work done. And because I am working, oops, come on, turn. But yeah, anyway, because I am working, I was like, I might as well vlog like a weekend vlog, the day in the life of working as a digital marketer professional on the weekends so that's what i'm going to do i'm um, going to be vlogging today right now i am going to go get some starbucks because i am hungry this vlog because it is the weekend is going to be a combination of me working throughout the weekend but also my just regular stuff that i usually do on the weekends like my errands um going to work out stuff like that because again this is the stuff that i do on the weekend so right now i'm actually on my way to starbucks i'm about to go get me a matcha because y'all know i'm obsessed with matcha that's all i drink i really 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 get coffee i'm always getting matcha so i'm actually adding what i want to my starbucks cart right now um yes and actually what i'm about to get from starbucks i feel really bad because i'm actually on a workout plan i don't know if you guys know of like the j sculpt program jazz she used to have a youtube channel i don't think she likes youtube anymore she doesn't do youtube anymore but now she's like really popular on um instagram her and her trainer hector they actually have a program together called j scope um which is a six-week challenge so i'm doing that right now um in collaboration with like my workouts that I already do which is like Pilates and stuff but I'm doing that program and it's a very very strict diet and today unfortunately I am cheating but I'm trying going to try to do two workouts today I'm going to do their workout um plus I'm going to go to a cycling class with some of my friends so I'm trying to do the double workout because of me cheating so yes um I'm putting everything in my cards. I'm really excited, y'all, because I just feel so good. Like, I'm just in good spirits. Like, it's the top of the new year. Like, I feel like God has been so good um, with me and my career. I, my YouTube channel is growing, which I'm so thankful for. You know, I'm thankful to all you guys who subscribe to my channel. I have a very small channel, but I really do this channel because I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy what I do. I love what I do. I've been doing it since I graduated college. And I just kept getting questions and questions and questions from people wanting to get in the field. I'm like, dang, I didn't realize how many people were actually interested in this. So that's why I just literally picked up the camera and I really enjoy it. So I'm really feeling good about everything. But yeah, so... We're gonna pick up the Starbucks, y'all. I have so much work to do. That is the thing I will say if you are going, I think this is for any industry, honestly. It don't matter if you're in digital marketing, whatever. Any industry at the top of the new year, it is crazy. Like I have never worked this much throughout the whole year. Like obviously I'm always working, but working this much, I've worked more in this beginning of this month than I have the entire year um which is crazy but anyway I'm here at Starbucks I don't think my order is ready yet because I literally just did it hold on let me see it says okay it'll be ready in five minutes but yeah y'all so I'm really excited about everything everything's taken off as far as my career everything has been taken off uh, don't you hate when people put those loud things on their car it's like they be driving the car and they go boom like a firework or a gunshot what is that called and what is the point of it i don't i don't get it 
it don't make no sense to me um but yeah hold on okay there we go so yeah so i'm about to run a starbucks i'm gonna get what i need from starbucks i then need to go across the street over here to walgreens because i need to pick up a prescription i'm gonna head back home do some work um and then we're going to try to go to the gym twice um and we'll see what else whatever else we get into but you know stick with me for this vlog we're gonna have so much fun um so yeah Okay, y'all i got my starbucks order it was crazy in there um but yeah i got my matcha you guys know that's all i be drinking and then i ordered the breakfast sandwiches these uh bacon something sandwiches whatever but i ordered two by mistake um so yeah i'm just gonna give one to the boo but yeah um let's head over to across the street to walgreens i need to pick up a prescription i do want to go to ulta but i'm not going to go to ulta because i need to get work done so i'm going to grab my prescription we're going to head home we're going to get some work done so i might actually see you guys back at the house um when we're going to dive right into some work all right bye all right guys hi i am back from my little morning errands um we are back here at the computer at the spot where it all goes down <laughs> but okay cool so like i told y'all in the car i have a ton of ton of work to do hold on let me let me girl not four minutes left well, let me switch out this hard drive hold on all goes down all right so y'all i have a lot of work to do and today is the weekend it is the weekend and you're probably wondering girl why are you working on the weekend but like i said earlier in the car Oof, it is a lot of work that has piled up on us during this time of the year, honey. Camp new campaigns need to be launched. Old campaigns need to be reviewed to see if they were effective um, versus what was effective, what wasn't effective. And if it wasn't effective, what can we do in the new year to make it more effective? And blah, 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 blah. So that's basically where we are. Excuse me, I feel like I'm oily. I'm always so oily. Okay. So that's basically where we are. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I really don't know where to start, y'all. It's a lot going on, really. I have lots of things to do. I'm just looking at my Trello board. You guys know I use Trello to keep me organized. It helps me out a lot. No, Trello does not sponsor me, but they should sponsor me if they see this video. Um, so yeah, I had to look at my matcha so I can get my thoughts together okay um so what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna go through this trello board y'all i'm gonna go through the trello board give me a few minutes i'm gonna come back we're gonna get some things organized um write some things down in my new planner y'all like this new planner it's so cute i got it from target anyway let me get my let me organize some thoughts because whew, and then we're going to come back and we're going to work through these tasks one by one by one. And you're going to see what it's like in the life of a digital marketer who specializes in paid ads when it's the end of the year, top of the new year. Like, it gets crazy. Um, but don't let this deter you because it's so, 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 so worth it. Like, this is the craziest that you'll, it'll get, really, honestly. Um, but yeah, so let me, let me, let me get it together. <laughs>
right y'all so I think I have a game plan so this is what we gotta do <laughs> okay so this is what our list is looking like for the day okay first things first I have to do this spreadsheet where okay so for every top every top of the year the client a client you know if you're in this position will say we're gonna pay you to run 50 ads the goal of course is to run all 50 ads however sometimes you can't get through all 50 ads but the client did request all 50 ads to be paid for or to be ran and they paid for all 50 ads we're in a position where we have some leftover ads that did not make the cut in the previous year and so we need to bring those ads over into the new year because that's what the client paid for so with that being said i have to fill out a spreadsheet for all of the clients that i'm working with fill out those spreadsheets and in those spreadsheets i need to essentially put the name of the ad that the creative whether it's a video it's an image i need to link it in that spreadsheet um, I need to put the text, the headline, the copy, everything. I Basically, all of the creative that has not been ran, I need to fill that out in a spreadsheet for each of the clients so that at the top of the new year, now, we can actually go ahead and start running those immediately before we even get into any of the new stuff. So, that's going to take a while. Um... But it has to get done, and it has to get done today. So I'm going to be doing that. The next thing, which you guys have seen me do a million times on this channel, is reporting. I have to get reporting done. Um, this reporting is very, very important because in this particular reporting, it is a full report from the previous year. So typically, I report every two weeks on the results. I need to pull in reports that talk about what happened the entirety of last year did we reach our goals did we succeed if we did it why what we're going to do different so i need to do reporting for about four different campaigns three or four reporting okay next and i wrote this all down on my sticky notes i need to do a budget qa um so basically i need to go in um, and make sure that we still have enough budget left for the remainder of the month to get us through, you know, the month. So, for instance, if you have a budget February 1st to February 28th, the 1st through the 28th, I need to make sure we're the second week in this month. I need to make sure that we're still on pace. We're not going to run out of budget because if we are, we need to let the client know that we need more money. Okay or we need to actually stop overspending so sometimes it's not even the client's fault sometimes it can be your fault where you're overspending and so that's why it's very important if you're going to be in the paid ad space to have some good knowledge of math um, and then have a good knowledge of how to use some spreadsheets and you can create what we call a pacing document and every day that pacing document if you have the correct formulas in there you can type in this is how much i spent today this is how much i spent today and make sure that you're pacing in the green and not in the red if you're pacing in the red then you need to make some adjustments adjustments that means you're probably overspending nine times out of ten that means you as the marketer is overspending and that's why you have to be good at managing the budget as well because if you're not good at managing the budget then you will overspend and that is your fault not the client's fault if you overspend okay so I need to make sure we're not overspending we're pacing and then there's also instances where you're pacing behind meaning you're not spending enough so if you realize okay I need to spend five thousand by the end of the month and it's almost here and I've only spent two you need to ramp it up okay so that's what that's about I need to make sure I'm doing that and then I need to create some new cards in Trello um, we're basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a draft card first on this draft card I'm going to be doing more robust updates than what I've been giving previously to the client so I'm going to use like this new template I'm just testing it out so that's not too crazy I'm just 
basically creating a new template and trying to give a more robust explanation on things and it's just like a whole thing that we're testing internally um yes and i didn't even think about that i also need to do i'm looking at my board back here also need to do add ops checklist updates and basically i need to create a checklist that every time i run a campaign i need to make sure there's a checklist there that says okay you put in the campaign name check you set the budget check you um spell checked make sure all the copy was correct grammar all the grammar everything was correct check so i basically need to make a checklist so that if i'm not available someone else is available to go through the checklist so if someone needs to launch a campaign i'm not here i'm creating a checklist so everything can be checked off okay so i need to do that um yeah it's a lot <laughs> um so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the leftover ad spreadsheet because that's going to take the longest um and i want to get that done today i don't want this to go into tomorrow so we're going to start working on that i'm going to show you guys a little bit of how my spreadsheet looks i'm going to go ahead and build it out um put in everything that i need to put in and then i'll show it to you guys so uh, let's get into it Okay, y'all, this spreadsheet is a lot. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the spreadsheet. I, sorry, my lips was kind of dry. I'm not going to show you exactly what's in the spreadsheet. Like, I'm not going to show you the content from, from my client because it's confidential but I'm going to show you the blank version of the spreadsheet so the spreadsheet that I'm working on it's complete it's done all I'm going to do is scroll up so you can't see the information I filled in you're just going to kind of basically see the information um you're going to see the spreadsheet without the information if that makes sense it, it, you you'll get what I'm saying but hmm this took a very long time um and I'm still not done because I did one of the spreadsheets for one of the campaigns and I have to do two more campaigns. So you guys, you, I'm not going to sit here and just let you guys watch me fill out these spreadsheets because they are taking a very long time. But I did finish one so I'm going to show you that. And so I'll work through the rest of them, work through the rest of them. And then when I get ready to go to the next task, then I'll pick you guys back up. But let me go ahead and take this camera off the tripod flip it around so you guys can see the spreadsheet and what it is that I did and what it looks like so yeah. alrighty so let me zoom in so this essentially this is essentially how the spreadsheet looks um, and like I said I did fill in the spreadsheet um, for the campaign but I did not show you guys my information so let's start with each column I'm just going to zoom in so column one would be the ad set name. So this is the audience, the name of the audience, okay? So I filled that in um, and then I filled in the ad name. This is a description of the copy followed by the imagery. Okay, so I filled in the ad name. Then I filled in the link to where the image or the video is at. So I go into my Google Drive and then I paste the link to the image or the actual video and I paste that link here then when we get to the text the text this is the copy I put the copy I literally type it out paste it in this column then I go ahead in the headline I type in the headline I paste it in this column the description and then the call to action so the call to action I created a drop-down menu for 
all the call to actions that is possible within Facebook. Apply now, contact us, download, get offer, learn more. So whichever the call to action is for that ad, I would select that call to action. Okay. Then I put the website URL where the when someone clicks on the call to action, where would it lead to what website? This is a display link. The display link, so for instance, if the website URL is amysshoeboutique.com, I can put the display link as just Amy's uh, Shoes. So this one is Amy Shoes Boutique, but the it displays as Amy Shoes. So this one includes, includes boutique, this one does not. This is just you don't this is not required, but it is there. So then I also put a column for the URL perimeters. Okay, so this is oops, sorry guys, I just dropped my phone. Sorry about that. The URL perimeters, this is the actual code um, so that we can track any conversions that happen. Now I'm scrolling over the end of this this actual spreadsheet has four sections test description test started statistical significance achieved and result so in this column I put what is the test what am I testing I can say I'm testing to see how this copy um, how it compares or how it what am I trying to say that I want to see how this copy compares to um, like an old copy with this image or something like that. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I'm having a brain fart right now, but <laughs> basically you describe the test. So the test, you know, I'm using an old image, but I have new copies. So I'm trying to see what the old image, how the old image will um, perform against the old copy. Blah. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. My God. Okay. Test started. That would be the date that I ran the test. So whatever date you started the test. I started the test January 1st, January 2nd, whatever. Statistical significance achieved. So basically, these are kind of similar. Statistical significance achieved and result. Basically, what happened? What was the significance achieved? So basically, I could say something like, when I use this new copy against this old image, we had a 40% increase in conversion rate. And then result is this copy resulted in, you know, an increase in conversion rate. So this means that this copy performs better than the old copy. So this is the result that yes, this test worked well. This copy for, performed better than the other copy, but this is more so like what actually happened. We had a 40% increase in conversion. Okay. So this is very important for reporting. Okay. So if I zoom out, this is the actual spreadsheet. This is how it looks. Okay. And like I said, I did fill this in already. So if I scroll back up, you'll see a bunch of rows and columns filled out, but I don't want to show clients information. So that's what I did. So basically guys, all I did there was just essentially, let me straighten this camera out. It's kind of cricket. All I did there was basically take all of the leftover creative ads that we didn't get a chance to run in 2023 and I put them in that spreadsheet. So again, that spreadsheet is going to be very, very important because it's going to be the place that houses all of the ads that should have been ran again in 2023, but did not. we did not get the opportunity to do so. We need to make sure that we prioritize whatever's in the spreadsheet for this upcoming um, next week or two, make sure those are the very first um, ads that are ran because they were, again, they were supposed to be ran in 2023. So before we run any new ads, those have to be ran first because it was agreed with the client that they would be ran in the year of 2023. So we're pushing them back to 2024. This spreadsheet is very long. This spreadsheet is going to be extremely long um, because there was quite a bit of content that was not ran in 2023 just because we had so many creatives to be ran in 2023 but a lot of them did good so we didn't want to turn off the ads that did good to just go in and test ads that probably didn't do good and a lot of what i saw what was happening is that when we were bringing in new ads facebook was not prioritizing 
um, sending conversions and leads to those new ads because the algorithm had already favored the old ads that were doing good. And so for us, we were like, do we want to go ahead and test all these new ads? Like we had to make an executive decision. Do we want to go ahead and test all these new ads? Um, and then possibly uh, ruin our, you know, you know, the cadence that we have because we were getting a ton of leads for this client. But every time we put in some new creative, again, Facebook just was not pushing uh, impressions to it. They were not getting eyeballs on it because they had already had ads that were working well. So why would I take money away from the ads that are doing well to push money towards new ads? So that's kind of the dilemma we were running into. And so that's why we didn't get to test all of the ads in 2023 because we kept seeing a pattern there. The same pattern of every time we test something new, no money was being spent on those new ads. Um, and, you know, so it, it was just like an executive decision. But those ads have to be tested because we agreed to that. So with the new year, starting these fresh new campaigns, these old ads that should have been ran, they're going to be technically ran as new ads in 2024. And I am pretty confident that they'll get conversions and leads because we're building these campaigns from the start. It's not like we're adding in new ads into campaigns that's already running. These new campaigns are built fresh from the start. Um, and so the algorithm has to work you know in their favor because they're not competing against any old ads if that makes sense so i am going to go ahead and continue working on these spreadsheets again this is probably going to take me longer than expected so it'll probably take me all the way up until i go to my cycling class um but it has to be done so i'm going to go ahead and get that done um and then we'll move on to the rest of things that were on where's my little sticky note oh here it is we're going to move on to the rest of the things after we do those spreadsheets but the most important thing for me to get done today are these spreadsheets if i have to push everything off until tomorrow then i'll just have to do that um again it's the weekend so i have one more day where's my phone oh here it is okay sorry guys <laughs> um this i have to get done today so if i have to push everything else back until tomorrow then I will just have to do that but, but this has to get done today so um yeah I'm gonna finish that well I'm gonna try to finish it before I go to cycle if not I will see you guys in cycling and we're gonna continue this vlog all right guys so I did a little bit more work on the actual um spreadsheet there is no way I'm going to finish the, the spreadsheet especially all of them by the end of today like I I want to finish all of them by the end of today that was the goal when we first started our vlog but it's impossible um but I'm gonna continue to work on them but because I know that I'm not gonna be able to finish that by the end of the day I moved on to my next task so I'm like if I can get other tasks done um then that would be cool because then I could just take all my time get all these smaller tasks out the way and I only focus on these big tasks which are these spreadsheets so Whew. Okay, so my next task, I did go ahead and did it. It was the bi-weekly um, budget. So basically what I did was I went into Microsoft Bing as well as Google and I made sure that we had enough money left over to get us through the rest of the month. So all you do is you honestly just go into um, Microsoft. And I don't know if you guys can see that that well. You probably can't, but... I just go into Microsoft and I go into Google and I go into billing and I see how much money we have left over to make sure that it's going to get us through the rest of the actual month. So um, I do have thresholds set. So for Microsoft and Bing, because I do run Microsoft and Bing ads as well, most of most people don't use most like businesses don't use Microsoft and Bing for, for those who do use Microsoft Bing ads they do actually do work they do give give pretty good conversions but it's not one of the like top ones um but my threshold for Microsoft Bing is 15,000 so if I see my budget drops below 15,000 which it did I had eight thousand dollars left if I have less than fifteen thousand dollars left I need to reach out to the client and say hey um, we are, you know, below our threshold. 
number one could you either give me more money um or i need to go in and make some adjustments to make sure i'm not overspending or underspending obviously i wouldn't be underspending at this point it would be overspending i did check and i'm actually not overspending at all i'm spending the daily budget amount so that just means that the budget that the client gave me at the top of the year the estimated 15 the estimated amount that they thought would work it's not working so I need more money from the client. It's not that I'm overspending. I'm spending right on, like I'm hitting it right on the nail every day. I'm spending the correct right, of, the correct amount of money. Let me slow down. <laughs> every day I'm spending the correct amount of money. I'm not overspending at all. So that tells me it's not a me issue. It's a issue that we, when we got together with the client and we came up with the number, we undershot that number. So we need more money. Um, Google, my threshold is 20,000. If I see that I'm starting to drop below 20,000, then that is a red flag. For me on Google, I didn't, I was not dropped under 20,000. I actually have about $56,000 $56, more for the rest of the month. So I'm good. But what I do need to make sure is that I need to make sure I am spending more money because I have so much left. And what's today? Let's check. Hold on. Let me just double check. Uh, where's my calendar? We have one, two, like two and a half more weeks in this month. I have two and a half more weeks to spend $56,000 in Google Ads, which that sounds like a lot of money, but we have a lot of campaigns running in Google Ads, so it's not that much. But I do need to keep an eye on it to make sure that I'm spending all $56,000 by the end of the month. Okay, so that's checked off my list. I'm done with that. I feel accomplished. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So the next thing that I need to do is reporting. You guys have seen me do reporting a million times in my channel if you haven't seen me do reporting before then definitely feel free to look at some of my old videos um i want to always give you guys fresh new content um so i don't want to show you guys me reporting again but i'll just do like a quick synopsis all i need to do is i need to go and look at all of the campaigns um that have been running so far within this month um and i need to just do a report all of the reporting is for you guys who haven't seen me do reporting it's just me going in on a trello card and typing in how many conversions we got how many leads we got what was the cost per acquisition how much did it cost us to get the lead how much did it cost us to get the conversion how many impressions we got how many views how many clicks it's just basic metric information that i'm just typing out on a card and then i am tagging the client so the client can kind of see what what i've uh, typed out and what we're where we're at are we in the deficit we're not in the deficit like we're in the green we're not in the green um that's all that's really all reporting is but for this particular month not only do i need to just do my regular reporting i also need to go in and do reporting from a yearly stance so i need to type up a report of what did we do how do we do overall in this past year did we reach our goals were we short things of that nature so i need to do a more robust reporting so i am going to go ahead and start working on that um i it it is 321 my class starts at four and it is kind of far so i think i'm going to go ahead and start the reporting and then do as much as i can go to my cycling class um, and then after cycling class, I'm going to try, I am going to try to go to the gym after that and do my leg workout because I missed my leg workout yesterday. So I'm going to try to do two workouts. And, um, also today I had a Starbucks sandwich, which I wasn't supposed to do. Um, so I'm definitely over my calorie intake. So I need to burn more calories because I ate too much and I ate the wrong thing. Very carb heavy. <sighs> Yes. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do some reporting. You guys watch me do my little reporting. We're going to go work out. And then from there, obviously, we're going to come back and we're going to finish out this day. I might even extend this vlog until tomorrow, like a full weekend marketing vlog because y'all, we got a lot of work to do. Okay, we got a lot of work to do. But fret not again, like I said, it's a lot. It's a lot. This is what you'll get when you're working in digital marketing, especially paid ads. 
the ending of the year the end of the year and the top of the year is the most 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 busy because you have to close out old campaigns bring in new campaigns you have to do an overview of what happened it's a lot but we're gonna make it happen that's why I wanted to do this kind of vlog because a lot of guys see like oh digital marketing like you know you have a flexible schedule you know it's so cool and it is and I agree but there's times when we're drowning honey and I'm be honest and transparent with you I'm drowning right now and I don't see where I'm gonna come up for some air no time soon but it's the life that I chose and I like it so all right let me get some reporting done and then we're gonna go up to cycle bar all right guys so I'm back home um let me just bring you guys here so I'm officially back home and whew, I don't know where my phone is but I think it's like It is currently 7.20 p.m. So I've been gone for a couple hours and this is why I went to Cycle Bar, which I did record on my phone. They didn't let me take my phone in Cycle Bar. I mean, they didn't let me take my camera inside of Cycle Bar. So I recorded on my phone, which you guys already saw. Then after Cycle Bar, I went to have a quick bite with my friends that I went to Cycle Bar with. Then after that, obviously you saw, I went to the regular gym so I can get my strength in. So I did... Today was technically supposed to be a strength day, but my friends wanted me to do cycle bar. So I did cycle bar, cardio, obviously, and then I still have to do my strength. So that's what I did. Now I'm back home. I'm about to actually make me something to eat really quickly. I'm going to make some salmon with some, um, with some green beans and maybe some rice. I don't know, but that's what I'm about to make for dinner. And then we're going to get back on the computer so y'all can see like today is today is a day okay um this weekend like i said it's just all over the place but also i really want to go out tonight because when i was at cycle bar my friends they were talking about like this really um cool new hookah bar that's in town um, and they're supposed to be like really good, play really good music and have really good food. I mean, obviously I'm already eating, but I'm just telling you. Um, so I do want to pop out. So I'm trying to just figure out like if I want to finish those spreadsheets tonight before I go out or will it take too long for me to finish? Um, yeah, I don't know. But either way. I'm about to finish cooking, make myself some dinner. While this is in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and take a shower. So whether I go out or not, I'll be ready. I mean, I got to take a shower anyway. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, this is just my weekend, guys. Like, it's kind of strange because, I, like I said, I rarely work on the weekends unless I have to. And I'll tell you to catch up on stuff. But it's kind of challenging because... I have to work and I also have to do my regular weekend stuff, the things that I need to do and things that I desire to do. So yeah, but I'm about to make this salmon. I'm actually just gonna pop it in the oven. I feel like I need some more, some more seasoning on it. I have like this lemon pepper seasoning that I like putting on it, but I don't think I have any more. Oh, here it is. Y'all, this lemon pepper is Bye. so yeah i'm gonna put that on there so i'm gonna pop everything in the oven i'm gonna go take a shower and then you guys will know what i decide to do whether i decide to go out or finish the spreadsheet for a go i'll keep you guys updated hey guys <laughs> i'm back i'm back three whole days later you're probably wondering like girl what happened I've been drowning. Yeah, I have 100% been drowning in work. These spreadsheets. <laughs> First of all, when I left y'all, I went to the gym and then I came home and I started to make some dinner. And then I tried to get back to the spreadsheets and I couldn't do it. And it was the weekend and I wanted to go out to dinner. So I went to dinner. And now it's the weekday, a few days later, and I'm still working on these spreadsheets. Y'all, these spreadsheets is no joke. 
but I'm almost done. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting the finishing touches on these bread sheets. Comment below if you hate spread sheets. Do y'all be Excel, Google Sheets? Like, y'all don't understand. I had to do like five spread sheets with like 200 plus rows each. And the formulas, I there was a little bit of formulas that I used, but for the most part, I couldn't really use formulas. So I'm just putting the finishing touches on here. So I'm about to finish doing that. We're going to pick it back up. I have a meeting, so I'm going to take a meeting. Um, and then after that, we're going to get back into our regular work. We're done with the spreadsheets, okay? We're going to go back into our regular work. Um, and yeah, so let me finish this up. Let me finish up what I have to finish up. We'll take our meeting, and then we'll get back to it. Alright guys, so my leadership team actually went ahead and canceled the meeting that we were going to review the spreadsheets about. The spreadsheets that I've been working on <laughs> forever. But I'm actually, I'm actually really relieved about it because um, it's just so much. Like these spreadsheets have been so much. I am done. The only thing that I need to do now is now that I have everything in the spreadsheet as far as what advertisements we need to start running at the top of the new year that was not ran in 2023, my next thing that I need to do is go in and set a date for all of these tests to be ran. So all of the tests that we were not able to get to in 23, I need to make sure that we are running those tests in 24, but I need to make a schedule for it. So essentially, um, I took some notes from my last call, which was last week, um, that our director basically wanted me to go back and look at a calendar um, so we know how long we need to pace based on how much money and time that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up a calendar and I'm going to see again how long I need to run these tests based on how long these campaigns are going to run so if the campaign is going to run for six months and I have five different creatives that need to run um, then I need to make sure that I get all five creatives in within those six months and I need to time it um, the other thing that I need to do is I need to give a suggested test budget okay so what that means is not only do I need to look at how long this test is going to be running for I also need to do I also need to look at how much money I'm going to give each test so again going back to the example I have five creatives six months to run all five creatives I have five thousand dollars okay so this is really just me doing some simple math okay take five creatives divide that by you know a time frame of six months I have five thousand dollars and then I basically distribute that five thousand dollars equally to each test so that's what I need to do um, on the spreadsheets now so the hard part that took me days and days and days that's over now I just need to go in and just look at that calendar and set the test start date because as you guys know when I showed you early <coughs> sorry excuse me earlier hmm, hold on when I showed you guys earlier in the video there is a column for test start date in that column that says test start date I'm gonna just type in the dates that this actual these tests will start and how much money I'm gonna be putting towards each of the tests so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, and then once I do that the next thing that I need to do on my calendar um, let me actually pull it up one second um, okay, okay 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 so the next thing that I need to do after I'm done the spreadsheets is I do need to go in and I need to look at the um, Google campaign so I know we talk a lot about Facebook on this channel because that's where I spend 80% of my time um, at work is in Facebook campaigns but like again I told you guys I do I am a full stack visual marketer so I do I do I do I do know how to do all of the other platforms like Twitter LinkedIn Google and so I need to go in and look at these Google campaigns because even though I don't put my hands on them a lot, I still have to keep my eye on them because that is my role. I'm the paid, like I'm a paid ads manager. So that is my role. So I need to go ahead and look inside of them just to make sure that they're doing well. And then also what I'll need to do is I'll need to do some reporting on it. And then I also have a 
another campaign. It looks like I have a campaign assigned to me that just got assigned to me. Oops, one second. Yeah, I got a campaign assigned to me to be built out. Um, and that's not due until tomorrow, but I probably will try to knock it out today because tomorrow I have a really, really big day. I'm actually going to be a keynote speaker at my college that I graduated from when I graduated college. Um, so I graduated from College of Liberal Arts and Sciences with a um, with an emphasis in communications and marketing. And I have always been very active in, as a um, graduate of that school. And they did ask me to come back and be a keynote speaker for one of our, uh, I guess it's like an event that they do every year where our college gives scholarships to children or I said children, these people are adults. My college gives scholarships to um, the students who are obviously part of that college. And they want me to just be the keynote speaker, give the you know students motivation, like to keep going. You know, once they get their scholarships and they graduate, pay it for it, whole thing like that. And I actually forgot that was tomorrow. I looked at my planner and I was like, dang, that's tomorrow. I didn't even write my speech, y'all. I'm the keynote speaker. I'm a keynote speaker and I didn't even write my speech. So I need to write that speech. Um, thankfully it's tomorrow evening at five. So I have all of today and then all of tomorrow to practice the speech. Um, so yeah, I need to do that. That's gonna be very, very, very important because I don't wanna get up there and embarrass myself. So I am gonna try to get that Facebook campaign built out today so I can have like a free day all tomorrow to just practice the speech. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and look at the calendar, try to get some dates for these actual um, tests that we need to do. I'll show you guys how I like look at everything. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, outside of reporting, which you guys have seen me do a million times, I think we'll be in a good space. So, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm about to show you exactly how I would plan out my testing. Um... I am, actually let me wait my camera one second. Okay, so I am going to do this test. Um, I'm just gonna show you how I do it for one test. I'm not gonna do all the tests because it's gonna take forever. So I have 10 tests that need to be done over a 12 month period, okay? So obviously if it was 12 tests over a 12 month period, that'd be one test a month but it's only 10 tests. So I'm gonna skip two months that won't require a test. So I think I'm gonna skip March and then maybe I skip September. Um, the first test that I have to do, it's one image with three different copies, okay? One image, three different copies. So image, this image needs to be tested with copy one, copy two, copy three. And the reason I'm doing that is because I need to know using this image which copy gets us the most leads or the most conversions so once i find out which one gets us the most leads that is the one so if it's this one for instance that is the one that is going to get most of the marketing dollars moving forward okay so let's just talk about our first test our first test i'm going to run that test in actually let's go to february since i already have some tests running in January. I'm going to run that test in February. Isn't this a cute planner? Okay. Oops, sorry. I'm knocking over the camera. February. Okay, cool. So, I have those three tests. They all need to be ran together because I need to see. They need to start the same day. They need to end the same day. So I can see exactly when it will... Um, I can see exactly who's going to win. So January, I already have one of those tests running out of the 10. So now I have nine left. So basically, the tests that I have running now, they end January 22nd. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new test on February 22nd. Okay, so you guys are probably like, girl, what did you write? All I wrote was test one. I have nine different tests left. Um, 
actually this should be test two I'm sorry test two the name of it is different coaches that's the name of the image and I'm going to test it against those three copies I'm going to run it from February 22nd until March 22nd when I get to March 22nd I am NOT going to run another test because I have two months that I need to skip and I'm just choosing March to skip now we want to talk about budget now let's talk about budget okay so I have fifty thousand dollars in budget to use against these these ten tests however in each test there's three copies okay so it can get a little bit of complicated okay so 10 tests times three copies okay so does that make sense we have 10 tests three copies each so technically we have 30 different tests right we have 30 different tests that we actually need to go ahead and spread this money out okay so I have fifty thousand dollars divided by thirty. So for each creative test, creative and copy, they get one thousand six hundred sixty-six dollars, basically. Okay. So again, one image, three copies. Each copy, each variation gets one thousand six six six. Okay. So then I put that here. I'm going to put this copy. The budget will be, and it's okay if I kind of go off the charts because it's only one test. 1,666. Okay. So 1,666 for each copy. So. I'm gonna spend about 5,000 on this particular test. Okay, and I'm gonna do that for each test. So this is my first test with three variations and I'm gonna do that for the rest of the test. That's how I would plan it out. All right guys, so I'm really excited because I got all my budgeting done in my planner. So <clears throat> everything's here, ready to go for the remainder of the testing period. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is a certification that a lot of you guys asked me about. It's the OMCP certification. It's on my screen behind here. Actually, let me see. The um, Let me see if I can bring it over here, actually. The OMCP digital marketing certification is the digital marketing certified professional um, um, certification. It is for individuals who essentially want to stand out to employers. Um, and it has three steps for you to get the certification. So I really, I, I highly, highly recommend anyone who's going to digital marketing or who's currently in digital marketing to get this certification because it does really stand out with employers. Um, this particular certification, I don't have yet, which is crazy because I have every digital marketing certification on the planet Earth. Um, but I realized I didn't have this one, so I'm going to go ahead and take the test. But I highly recommend it. All of the, my digital marketing girlies and guys have this one, so I need to go ahead and grab it. It should be really easy. But um, this one is good. So there's three steps, okay? So first step is you have to have a passing score. Obviously, you have to pass the test. And one of the following. The options are... 5,000 hours of experience, which if you're already in digital marketing, you probably have. Or 2,000 hours of experience plus a post-secondary degree, so a college degree. Or 1,000 hours of experience plus completion of an approved digital marketing course within six months of the application. So there's three ways that you can get this actual certification, but um, the one for me, I'm just going to go for the 5,000 hours of experience because I have over 5,000 hours of experience, um, but I also have a post-secondary degree, so I could do that one as well. So I want to show you guys that particular certification, how important this certification can be for you. I have tons of experience, so I don't necessarily need this certification, but it looks good on my resume, so I'm going to go ahead and finish it. But if you're just starting off and you have this certification, you're going to eat. If you get the certification early on in your career, you're probably going to get a higher salary. Okay, so here is the actual certification here. And then here are the three steps to getting into it. So I would highly recommend OMPCP. 
OMCP. If you're serious about digital marketing and starting into digital marketing and getting like a really high salary, this will prove to any employer that you're serious. But that is it for my channel, guys. Thank you for watching another vlog and I'll see you next time. Bye.